you're going to be a good skater, it's got to be balance. We'll show you what balance is. The key to skating, gang, is that you have to be balanced on skates. And you might say, what's balance? Well, balance is that the leg that's on the ice is under you, supporting your weight, while the other leg is out, either pushing you backwards or pushing you frontwards. This way here. If you're like that, feet together. You can get the full extension. Okay, you can get back down that far back to develop power. If you start here, too far apart to do the same thing, you can only go that far, otherwise you're gonna fall flat in your face. You're not gonna get near the power that's in your body. Igor, at 40 plus years, is still one of the best skaters. The leg on the ice is directly under him, supporting his weight, while the working leg can go to the full extension to develop tremendous thrust and power. Catriona is the world's best women skater. She's balanced on skates. The leg on the ice again supports her body long enough to allow the working leg to develop maximum power. Cerise. Watch the power leg return to the ice right under her, very close to the balanced skate, and then look at the full extension of the pushing leg. Again, the leg returns to the ice close to the balanced leg, which starts to develop power to the full extension because the leg in the ice, watch it, supports her body. That's balance at its very best push with the toe, and it's very important that you can generate power pushing with the toe. Now, see, remember we did toe in, toe out, same thing. Turn that uh, toe in till it hits, hurts here in the hip, and then just sit, and it get great power, great power. Look, from there to there, I generate power. Just push with the toe, and the key is, the whole key is you start from there, not there, you don't get half the power from there that you get from there. Bring the feet together, all the time, feet together, start your stroke from there. Got it? Got it! Cerise again, feet together, watch your cut ice, throw snow, power. The skate that starts to develop power has to start from the balanced position or you lose half your thrust. You know, the big problem with starters is getting their feet from the A position to the balanced position. And when we do that, the sky's the limit. We start with crossovers and we stay with them and with them and with them and my oh my, does it work. First day, First thing we do is crossovers for every age. This is the start of posture and balance. Keep your back straight, head up, a little bend in your knees. Let's go that way. The key here is small steps, feet shoulder width apart. All 12 teachers go eyeball to eyeball with the student. They don't teach until they see the whites of their eyes. Skills beat systems every time. To teach skills, both parties have to be there. The teacher has to activate and control the student's mind. The little guys and gals will be doing crossovers everywhere for the next seven days. The results will be astonishing. Get your feet straight, Jordan. Feet straight, little steps. Straighten them out, that's it, toe to toe. Rory. Three, feet straight, small steps. Put her there, big guy, piece of cake. Now for the hard sell. From posture comes balance. From balance comes power. From power comes success. If you have some brains, and all Canadian kids who play hockey have brains, get them to use it, that's the key. 
from here on in, we're going to show you how to get balance and power and success. Watch this. Now, in order to get balance, we do about 25 different skating drills. This is a two-foot slide. My posture is perfect. Look at shoulder over the knee over the ball of the foot. I'll do it again. Now watch my feet. My weight is evenly distributed over the middle of the blades. This is great balance. I'm on the red line. Feet right, toe in, push off. Look how long I develop power. Look at the length of that. Now I come back, put my feet a little wider apart, and I push off and I lose six to nine inches of developing power. You know, you have to start from the balanced position to develop maximum power every stroke you take. Fly, get your feet underneath you, and fly. Side and side. We start teaching the two-foot slide the first day, so let's continue. During the rest of this series, we'll show you time and again that talking to and demonstrating how to is a waste of everyone's time. One-on-one -on -one is the only way to improve student skating and putt control skills. No one without a teacher has a clue except that young lady right there. Get your feet together, Taylor! Ah, good thing the bards were there. And a minute later, we grab Taylor. Come on now. And still, get your feet together, shoulder width apart. Twist your hips, do it slow. Well, a couple of days later, Kevin has a hold of him. Let's try the two foot slide. Ah, we got him. Feet together, feet together. Yahoo! Works on everybody. Well, all you parents that have sat in an arena, froze your butt, and saw a team come on the ice and shoot pucks at the boards, hey, we're going to show you something here that's unbelievable. You won't believe it. We don't believe it. We create an unsupervised learning environment with 35 kids doing drills by themselves and students teaching students. Unbelievable. If we don't get to the student's mind to make them aware of feelings, concentration, discipline, and the reason we are together, us and them, is to activate our minds, then we, us and them, are not too successful. All of us in our teaching system know we're doing something right when every year our at-play session works, an unsupervised learning environment. A couple of years ago, the youngest students were dressed and ready to go a half hour before their ice time. I threw a pail of pucks on the ice and said, go have fun, told my staff to leave them alone. Later, I was amazed. There were 50 students skating, pucking, and passing, and shooting at the goalies. Amazing. We've added some challenges, and obviously the students are using them. This is play and learning at the highest level. No parents, no teachers, no score, and a hundred putts for me to do whatever. Yahoo! Jeepers, this is super. I'm learning skills and getting better and having fun. That's hockey. You're looking at Cerise and Gavin. Cerise is teaching Gavin how to pass the puck over the board. You put it on the heel, Gavin, and roll it on. Tessa and Taylor going through blocks, getting better. And the guy in the middle in red, look, going through backwards. <laughs> Made my own. Bill improved. Stephanie is teaching Marissa the one foot slide, the easy way. Arch to heel, lift the front foot out of the way. And there's Bev, one of our teachers, a mother, doing the one foot slide. And our other teacher, Lynn, mother, mother of two, practicing going through the blocks. She's a great teacher. how they get better, folks. You know, after the skill session, we play three games in each half ice, normally three aside in two and a quarter minute shifts. We strongly believe when teaching individual skills, it's one-on-one -on -one, eyeball to eyeball with the student. Game skills, same thing. 
We put a teacher with every unit. It's exciting. Here, watch this. Here's the first of six game rules. Jordan has to try to beat at least one checker, Tessa, before she gets rid of the puck, and she does. The buzzer goes. I put it in anyways. Gene Kixio is the teacher. Willie is in a crowd, has the puck. Teammate Brett skates for the net. On the way, picks up two checkers. Now his action makes it impossible for Willie to get him the puck. He has to move where the red dot is, uncheck himself. Gene comes in. Brett, Brett, back here, back here. He moves him back a little bit. A good pass there, shot on net. Andy's playing with Tanner who shoots and misses. The net checks him, so he backs up, unchecks himself, gets a good pass, scores a goal. Now watch Tanner's pass to Andy. Brittany picks him up, and Andy signals all the way up the wing. Back up, uncheck yourself, slow down. He does, but it's too late. Andy puts the puck where it should be. Brittany intercepts and scores on a breakaway. Andy picks up a loose puck. Both checkers chase him. Tanner chugs down center ice, stick in the ice. Good pass, great goal. Good shot. Look at here, even Andy recognizes that. Now Andy will kick the puck to Tanner at the side of the net. The goalie makes the save. Tanner chases the puck, but he can't get it to Andy. The net's in the way. Andy unchecks himself. Tanner, without looking, goes tape to tape. Tanner goes to the front of the net. Brittany picks him up. And he says, go to the open ice, open ice, get there. And he puts the puck there. When game teachers go one-on-one -on -one with the students playing the game well, and sensibly, soon it'll be a piece of cake. We do a lot of things right in our skill teaching sessions, a lot. But one of the best things we do are the games that we play. They're interesting. The student learns, and sometimes, you sit there and you see better goaltending performances than you'll see in the National Hockey League by eight and nine and ten year olds. Simply amazing. Watch this. We have three games going at the same time at half ice, two crossways and one straight up and down. Mike just started one with the orange puck. There's the second game starting with the black puck and there's Kevin starting the third game with the orange puck. The trick here is uh, go wide, not down through the middle and uh, lots of traffic. You have to keep your head up and you learn to carry the puck in front of you. There are the pucks, orange, black, and yellow, and uh, you, the guys and the gals soon learn which puck is theirs. Here's the breakaway and watch the save. Traffic down through the middle. Ah, off his glove, off the post. Coming down through the middle. Tessa! Got one. The youngster is Ryan Corkery in goal. He's going to make about eight saves. Just watch this little son of a gun. Unbelievable. Look, he pushes off, comes across, steals the puck, gets back up, dives across his net, makes another save. Here's a pass to a teammate home free. Off his arm, off the post. Home free again. Picks it off with his pad. Watch this pass. Look at beautiful. There he stands his ground off his glove and off the post. Even when he's pushed around, he makes the save. And another one. Here's something you don't see very often. The puck in the corner, the youngster hugs the post, stands up and squarely faces the puck. The trick is keep him away from a goaltending instructor. And they finally get one by him.